So to get started really quickly, for those of you who know me or those of you who don't know me, actually, my name is Dee Dee Bass Wilbon, and I am a mom of a sports athlete. My daughter plays lacrosse. She plays club lacrosse, and she plays uh, lacrosse for her school. She is a goalie, and uh, that is a crazy position if you ask me, but she enjoys playing goalie. And I myself was also an athlete in school. Uh, just one second. Hold on. I'm trying to multitask. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so um, so I also played sports when I was in school. I played soccer and I was a cheerleader. And the reason that I'm so excited to have you guys here on with us tonight is for a very, very important reason. The changes to Title IX and the changes that they are proposing will completely change girls' sports the way that we know it. And it really totally terrifies me as a mom. I'm going to read really quickly uh, the summary of some of the changes to the rule. The U.S. Department of Education proposes to amend its regulations implementing Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972 to set out a standard that would govern a recipient's adoption or application of sex-related criteria that would limit or deny a student's eligibility to participate on a male or female athletic team consistent with their gender identity. The proposed regulation would clarify Title IX's application to such sex-related criteria and the obligation of schools and other recipients of federal financial assistance from the department that adopt or apply such criteria to be to do so consistent with the Title IX's non-discrimination mandate. Even private schools receive federal funding right now. Um, when those students receive federal financial aid, those schools will have to allow biological males who identify as girls, girl sports. And like I said earlier, that terrifies me. But really quickly, we're gonna share a, a decade old interview with Serena Williams, the tennis star with David Letterman. Actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0 in five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Because it's, no, no, it's they, true. It's honestly, true. It's a completely... Really. It's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um, they they get they serve harder, they hit harder. It's just a different game. And I love to play women's tennis, and I I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you kill me. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you when it comes to tennis. I only want to play girls. Yeah. <laughs> we got that going on. What Serena Williams shared with David Letterman over a decade ago on that talk show is still true today. And the sad thing is that she and other female athletes are afraid right now to speak out um, that, you know, what she said is true. And but we can't be afraid. We can't not speak out. And I've been saying it over and over and over. We have to speak out. So this call to action tonight, I'm asking, we're asking you guys to do three things. And then I'm going to give you your evening back because my mom is here tonight. And Dina's probably going to be over here in a couple of minutes because my mom is making pound cake. For those of you who've heard us talk about our mom's pound cake, it's absolutely amazing. But um, so I'm going to give you your evening back. But there are three things that I want you guys to do. So the purpose of this virtual call to action, it is a call to action. We need you to submit your comments. And tonight is the last night that you can submit your comments. Over 151,000 comments have already been received. And you will be surprised that, and I, read, I have not read all of the comments, but I've read several of those comments. But you would be surprised the number of comments who are completely opposed to what we are supporting, meaning to keeping girl sports female. There are so many of those comments that are completely opposite of what we are trying to do. 
And so please tonight submit your comments. Linked in this post, we will have, we will have a direct link to the Federal Register. And we also will have a link to other organizations that allow you to comment through their portal. So they have like a pre, pre, um, pre statement and you can just sign your name to it. But we really would like for you to make your own comments. The second thing that we really want you to do, please don't be silent, be compassionate. I am a mama bear. Uh, for those of you who know me and know that my daughter plays lacrosse, I'm on the, on the field every single time she's playing. And, but we can't be silent about this. Please use your social media. We know now social media is huge. That's how we get all news and, you know, fashions and hairstyles and everything. So please use your social media. Please speak out. Please share this post. Please follow Policy and Pound Cake, or you can follow Independent Women's Forum um, and Concerned Women for America, but also, on the, be on this issue, I just I want you to have so much courage. Please, I encourage you to repost. Um, if you don't want to repost policy and pound cake, repost the Women's Liberation Front because the Women's Liberation Front they are very outspoken, but they are left leaning, but they support us on this issue, and that is so amazing and it's awesome. So if you don't want to, um. If you don't want to repost policy and pound cake because you're like, okay, Dee Dee and Dina, they are just way too, they're far right or whatever. If you don't want to do policy and pound cake, please repost the Women's Liberation Front because they are also speaking out against this. So submit your comments tonight, tonight before midnight, before you do anything else, when we hang up, go submit your comments and you can, there's, like I said, there's going to be a link in this post. Don't be silent. Please speak out. Share this on your social media. Share with your family, friends, coworkers, your neighbors, anyone who has even, and it doesn't even have to, they don't even have to be a parent. If they could be a pink like Dina, professional aunt, no kids. They can be an uncle, an aunt, a grandma, a nana, a sister, a brother, a cousin, anyone, everyone, please share it with them. And the third thing, become a contributor to BPA Livewire. BPA Livewire is a platform that Dean and I founded about a year ago. And it um, has turned into a very powerful tool, a, pair, a very powerful platform to share opinions that are not shared in mainstream media. So please do those three things. Submit your comments tonight before midnight. Don't be silent on this issue. Please share this in your social media. I know that sometimes when you speak out against things, you're like, oh, people are not gonna like me. This is not, you know, the cool, th this is the cool thing to do. Trust me, this is the cool thing to do. You have to speak out on this. And thirdly, become a contributor to BPA Livewire. Like I said, we are sharing some amazing information that mainstream media is simply not sharing. So um, I really, even today, sending all this information out, we heard from parents who are dealing with this issue on the field in real time. So this is so important. I really do appreciate you guys for being on and for tuning in and for responding to my this gazillion text messages that I've sent you between today. And I, I took a break on Mother's Day and didn't send them, but on Saturday. So I do appreciate that. But I really do um, thank you so much for being on. If anyone would like to make a comment or ha have questions or want to ask me questions or ask Dina questions, please feel free to do so. But um, again, like I said, we will definitely have all the information linked in this post for you to share um, and, um, and for you to make your comments.